For today's video, I was actually going through some of my older files on my computer because my computer is full and I need to make space. Anyway, I found this one piece of art that I hadn't actually ever finished and I was like, you know what? I could spruce this up in like no time at all. So I took an hour, maybe possibly on the verge of two hours to just add a few more details to this painting and I thought I would show you guys the process and how just like a little bit extra attention can really change a piece. For this video, I am using Photoshop and it is a very rough style of painting. This is kind of what I call speed painting and hopefully you guys enjoy watching. So I am going to cut to some music after this, but first I kind of wanted to take a moment and explain to you what it is that I'm actually doing. So the piece that you see in front of you right now, this is uh, a very rough painting that I had done, uh, did, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's a very rough painting that I had, um, I did many years ago, like, maybe like three or four years ago and I did it with solids so I didn't let myself use any hard brushes it was all solid brushes this is like my go-to step when it comes to doing a speed painting is I try not to rely on soft brushes I try to just put things in with hards and I don't really blend like if I get caught blending then I know that I'm just gonna spend forever on something so I don't let myself blend unless I'm using a specific brush that has it already built into the texture, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, so um, that's how I got the, the base that I'm working with, is it is a old speed painting that I had done. Um, there's some things that I'm noticing with it now, looking back on it, like the shape of the wolf is not ideal. Um, his head was very, very long. It looks more like a horse's head than a wolf's head. Um, there's some issues with the bun. The bun on her head, on the character's head, is too big. It's like basically the same size as her skull. So I'm going to go in and just change a few things, like make sure her silhouette is standing out, make sure that um, her bun's not too big, it has a few more details. The light is going to be adjusted. Right now it's a very flat light. And I remember when I painted this, that was intentional because I was going for a extremely cloudy day but I decided to change that up for a storytelling element and um, I'm gonna be making it more like a sunrise or a sunset. So we're gonna throw some pinks in there to kind of counterbalance the greens because this is a very green painting <laughs> and lots of grays as well. So right now I'm just uh, editing the wolf, making it look a little bit more wolfy. And after that, I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to add some color and atmospheric elements to the background as well as foliage to the foreground and making sure that her silhouette kind of stands out from the foliage instead of blending into it. So that's about it. That's everything that I'm doing and I'm gonna let you watch, listen to the music and just chill and hopefully it makes sense. Thank you. Take it to the bridge.
And at this point, I am actually closing in on the 55 minute mark. I'm almost done. You can see I keep on swapping it back and forth because I, I kind of want to remind myself what it is I changed from the previous version because sometimes I'll forget and I'll be like, oh yeah, I need to rework that a little bit or maybe that needs pushed a little bit further because it wasn't strong enough to begin with. The most important things that I changed here aside from the lighting and the silhouette of the wolf are I made sure I made little windows within her silhouette where you could kind of see how her form changes from like where her legs are to her arms to her torso. Before it was all kind of like one shape. And another thing is I introduced purple. So originally this was a very green, very gray palette and I threw in some pink and I threw in some purple as well in the foreground and like the plants and stuff. And we have some light coming through the leaves. We have some um, light being shown on the water, hitting the wolf, kind of getting some bounce light going on. And yeah, I'm just finagling with it at this point. It's one of my favorite words, finagling. <laughs> and I realized that uh, his, his head was a bit too high up. So I, I just adjusted that. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and join me next week for another art related video. Bye. Take it to the limits. Take it to the bricks.